cake mixture and compost. Grandad said it was hard work seeing the shape of New Zealand in his head before he could get it down on the map. He would say that. Granny turned the little handle so flour drifted out of the bottom of the sifter. Believe me, drawing a map's easy. All you have to do is sketch the coast, pencil in the rivers and mountains. But making the place itself so you can put it on the map, that's the hard bit. No, I suppose so. Of course it is. Then who made New Zealand? With her big wooden spoon, Granny stirred the cake mixture into the bowl. Who made New Zealand, Granny? Granny put down the bowl, opened the oven door, put her hand inside, and muttered something. She opened the top damper and said, Put some coal in, dear. Not too much. About half a shovel should do. How do you know how hot it is? I should be able to tell by now. I've been baking in this old oven long enough. If your grandfather wasn't so mean, he'd have bought me one of those electric stoves years ago. One with a dial that shows you how hot the oven is. I slid on half a shovel of coal. Turn the top damper, the one on the back, said Granny. That's enough. Pull the other right out so it sucks the flames around the oven. I turned and pulled the dampers, and I thought I heard the flutter of flames sucking around the oven and making it hotter. Here, have a good stir for good luck. She handed me the bowl and a big wooden spoon. Why is it good luck? Just as. Three times, so you see the bottom of the bowl each time. Did you have a wish? Yes, I... Oh, don't tell me what you wished. That'd bring you bad luck. Granny lined the baking tin with greaseproof paper and smeared it with butter as I swallowed the secret wish. She scraped the cake mixture into the tin. I nodded and licked the wooden spoon, ran my finger around the bowl and licked it too. It tastes better like this before it's cooked into the cake. Can't just sit around eating cake mixture, Jack. Wouldn't be right. It tastes good. Imagine what your grandfather would say if I gave him a spoonful of cake mixture instead of a piece of cake with his cup of tea. He'd say it tastes good, like his compost. That man, he probably would. Granny, if Grandad drew the first map of New Zealand, who made the country? Are we back on that again? Oh, I want to know. Well, if you must know, I made it. You made New Zealand? Well, somebody had to do something. Otherwise, your grandfather would have had nothing to draw a map of. How did you make it, Granny? Like making a cake. I knew all the things that had to go into it. Just put them in together, mix them up. Mountains, rivers, lakes and plains. Beaches and creeks. And the bush, I said. Did you put it in a big baking tin, pop it in the oven? Oh, you don't do that when you're making a country, said Granny. You stir it up till you get the mixture just right. Then you leave it alone. And it looks after the rest itself. Did it cook itself? No, oh, you could say that. Is that why it's still smoking and steaming? You know, at Rotorua? No, oh, suppose it is. So some bits of New Zealand hasn't finished cooking yet. The hot bits. Maybe that's what they mean, said Granny, when they say New Zealand's a young country. But like cake when you've just taken it out of the oven and tipped it out of the baking tin and it's still hot and you have to set it on the wire rack to cool. A bit like that. Now, skip out of my way while I pop this into the oven. That's different to what Grandad said. Why, what did he say? Something about you fishing up New Zealand from under the sea. Isn't there an old Māori story like that? I seem to remember somebody or other pulling up New Zealand. Maui, I told Granny. They told us at school he fished up the North Island with his grandmother's jawbone. Granny stood up from the oven door, put her hands on her hips and stared at me. What rubbish has that grandfather of yours been telling you now? He's been saying I've got a jawbone shaped like a fish hook. Well, just for that, he's not going to taste so much as a crumb of this cake. And as for him drawing the first map of New Zealand, ask him who he thinks Captain Cook was. Didn't Abel Tasman draw a bit of the coast before that? Probably others before him too. Fishing New Zealand out of the sea with my jawbone indeed. We'll see about that. Muttering angrily, Granny bent down to adjust the dampers again. I slipped out the back door. I was going to tell Grandad to hide in the bamboo patch instead of coming up to the house for afternoon tea.